Now at some point, you'd want to remove or delete the file or the folder. Now normally on the GUI, what you would do is right click on the file or the folder and click move to trash. Okay, and this is going to, well, move the folder or the file to the trash. So this doesn't technically delete it from our system, it only moves it to the trash folder. However, if you try to remove or delete the file or the folder from the terminal, the file will be permanently deleted. And that's something we've got to be careful for. Okay, so I'm inside my desktop. Okay, I've got, well, a few files here. Let's try to delete one of them. So the command for deleting the file is the RM, which stands for remove. Let me delete this fully. Okay, I write the RM command and then the name of the file that I want to delete and then press enter. And the folder is gone. Well, it's not just gone, it's gone forever, it's gone permanently. Okay, it won't exist on our trash folder. Okay, this is how we delete the file. Now, since it will be gone permanently, I would want to be cautious. So to be cautious, let's write the hyphen I. Okay, let's try to delete the fill. Now we have a prompt here, right? It's asking me, remove fill? Well, yes. And it's gone. Now I could also remove the folders. So in my desktop, let me create a folder. MPTI R, let's say new folder. And let's try to remove this folder. So let's use the rm command, okay? Hyphen i and then the folder name. Now, since this is a folder, we'll have to use the recursive command as well. So I'll have to use hyphen i is there. Let's use hyphen r as well, okay? Now, press enter. It's asking me, examine files in directory, new folder, yes. Now, remove the new folder. Well, yes. Press enter, it's gone. Okay. Now, this is how we delete the files as well as folder. For the folder, we add the extra hyphen R. And again, one thing to note is that once we delete it, it is permanently gone. 